Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a quick preview to the Lehigh Valley Phantoms versus the Utica Comets up there in Utica after coming off of a 2-4 to four loss to the Wilkes-Barre Scram Penguins that, just like Bob Rotruck, I would echo, I felt like the Phantoms, actually in the bottom two periods, played a lot better than Wilkes-Barre. They just weren't mm -hmm. able to get it past the netminder there, Lindbergh, in the rookie, who had another good game against the Phantoms for already the second time in his short career after Louis Deming had a good game against them the last time <clears throat> playing Wilkes-Barre. So the Phantoms look to bounce back tonight. They look to keep their good play going. There was one goal in that game. Sandstrom would definitely want back. The others by Chapu and et cetera were not really goals that I think he could have done much about. Chapu, of course, a former Flyers draft pick. So now we go into the game against Utica, who we are 0-4-1, and they are hot to start the season at 3-0. and So this is not going to be an easy game, excuse me. But our Phantoms have, after yet or not yesterday, after Wednesday's bad start to the game, where they let in a lot of goals early, they did play a good game. They just weren't able to pop the goal. Now, when you have good goaltending and you start playing a good foundationally defensive game as time goes on throughout the game, those are two things you want to build on. Now you just need the offense to get going. Because if we look at our team, 2-1, to 2-1, to 3-1, to 2-1, to and 4-2 to two are the losses for this year. So you're actually playing solid defense. Your goaltending's playing really well. You just need to get the offense going and then from 0-4, you can go on literally the reverse if this offense gets going with the talent on this team to 4-4-1 four, four, and one in a span of the next four games, which will be against Utica, Syracuse, Wilkes-Barre again next Wednesday, and then I believe I'm in the Checkers on Saturday from Charlotte. So... Like, that's the thing with this team. They're, they're not starting off the season well, obviously, to get to 0-4, but it's a weird... It, that's one of the things where you look at the stats and you look at the record and go, wow, this team... You would think, wow, this team's not playing well at all. Well, I don't take it like that. I think they actually just... Against Wilkes-Barre, they didn't start the game off well. Um, Against Wilkes-Barre and Hershey the first weekend, they just got beat by good goaltending. And then, realistically, <clears throat> against Hartford, Sandstrom save their bacon in that game, and then the same goes with the Wilkes-Barre game last Sunday. The goaltending's playing well, and then in these other games, like they did against Wilkes-Barre, and as they also did against, well, really, Wilkes-Barre back-to-back -back as the game went on, the defense got better. If you have great goaltending with good foundational defense, like Tony Androkis said, we have so much young defenders. Nick Sealer's been up in the NHL, too, so you're short one veteran. You're going to make some mistakes, but it's all about Learning from those mistakes, it's only five games in. This team, with the way they're playing from goaltending to defense, can turn it around, in my eyes, as quickly as the season went to 0-4-1. So that's what I'm looking for tonight. I'm looking for a good game. You're playing a very good Utica Comet team. The former, obviously, Binghampton Devils. They're really hot to start the season. They've been looking good, clicking on all cylinders. So you're going to want to come out and pounce on them, just like Wilkes-Barre did against us last game, and then try to ride that high through the entire game to be able to get a win for the Phantoms. This is not even close to the end of the world for this Phantoms team yet. It's five games in, and they're playing very good at the goaltending position. Sandstrom might have allowed one goal this entire season that he would want back, and I would say Urson hasn't even allowed any yet. So you're playing very good goaltending, and your foundational defense seems to be getting better in the Imperia system a couple more games in. Against Wilkes-Barre on Sunday, it got better as the game went on. Against Wilkes-Barre on Wednesday, it got really good in the final two periods. The offense just couldn't get going like it hasn't all season. So I think the big caveat and the big key for the Phantoms' success going forward is just get the damn offense going, find a way to put the puck in the net and loosen the team up, and then get going from there. So this has been a preview to the Phantoms and Utica comments. I hope you all enjoyed it. Subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget if you enjoy the content. Let's go Phantoms. Let's get those winning ways going tonight. Peace out, everybody.